When it comes to scamming, scammers and scams, not that I ever scammed, but I am very knowledgeable in this world, at least I like to think so. I'm not in the business of snitching or slander, but here's my thing about Elon. I went nuts when he crashed the price of it from 60K, opening his pothole in the process. I mean mouth. Well, really, not even mouth. <laughs> he went full on meek mail and chose the Twitter fingers. The same Twitter fingers that pulled the trigger on the price of Bitcoin. Bow! And ever since, we've been floating between 30K and under from 60K. It will be back, and we will break the 100K. Not advice, just opinion. But check this out. I just want to shatter the godly image of him in your eyes. Not slandering him. How did Elon get rich, by the way? Can you tell me? As a guy in that field, or know about that field from research, I'm not in that field. I can tell you, hey, he's a scammer. <laughs> I know scammers. And I'm going to tell you how he did it and got away with it. First of all, in case you didn't know how he got rich, he got rich through PayPal back in the day. Which I guess I hear that he stole the idea from two guys. Or that was Tesla, but he's always finessing. You can dig them details. I'm not going to tell you those details because they don't prove or support my theory. There's different details for that. One, PayPal. How did PayPal make most of his money? You might say, hey, okay, man, what? Stop, stop, stop hating on him, man. You're just mad at Elon because y'all both nerds. No, no, no. How did he make the money though? And this you. AK fees. Of course it's fees. Duh. Duh. And then I would say, nah, I know duh. More like a ah. Cause I Hale. Let me let me let me let you in. In the world. Let me let you in on the world of secrets. Uh not really secret, it's just unspoken secrets that smart people know and are smart enough to not tell you about it. Because if you're a dummy, and I see that it, it is, so check this out, boom. Y'all be signing record label contracts, you don't read it. <laughs> Downloading programs, clicking, I accept. You don't, here's what you accepted on PayPal. PayPal is not a bank, never was, never will be. It was a, I guess transmitting is a company. It's not a bank. Any bank in America has to abide by banking regulations, rules that banks must follow. But if you're not a bank, you're just in the business of holding people money, aren't you? Ah... Okay, now just like my last video where we spoke about, or it was this video, I don't know. When we spoke about your views, right? Your views being uh, warranting that you get your bank account frozen, not closed. Frozen. See the different words here? Closed means you get your money back. Frozen means that's my money until I decide otherwise. Who decides otherwise? Who chooses what views are good or bad? Because if this was N-word Germany, where H-word, you know, being with the Jews warranted a D-word penalty. 
So now everybody, of course, is with him. Shout out, I, I love the Jews. But I'm just saying, slavery was once legal. Thinking otherwise made you the bad guy. So who gets to decide what views? Oh, who gets to decide what views are? Oh, the guy's in power. See, 11, now it all makes sense. I'm trying not to get mad so you actually don't have an excuse to say, oh, you're always mad. You don't even listen to what I'm saying. It should make you mad. So, if a 14-year-old kid walks in a bank right now, no legal guardian whatsoever. Hello, I'd like to start a bank account. Aw, you're so cute. But you can't have a bank, you're a child. How about you come back with a legal guardian? Darn it, darn it the heck. All right, I'm gonna tell my... But what if, what if you go on PayPal as a 14 year old? You can put in whatever birthday. I signed up for Facebook when I was under age. I lied about my age. I still can't get it to change as a grown man. Some of y'all lied on the thing because of it. You go on Tinder, you gotta say age 29 and then the bio, actually 23. Oh, Same thing on PayPal. Kiddo just trying to, he just tried to scam somebody for CS ghost skins, allegedly, hypothetically. He just needs somewhere to get it quick. I'm, make, I'm joking. I'm not insinuating that our example here is a criminal. Could be just whatever. So I'm gonna be selling beats. So boom, he get, his, he get his little money, right? I heard this from a little bro who was of younger age. And somehow he had 10K in his thing, 10,000. But him being 14 and going to cash out his money at some point, it was like, ah, suspicious. It wasn't though. But again, who decides what's suspicious, what's not? 10K seized or frozen or whatever you choose. You ever notice PayPal's customer service is almost non-existent? There's no phone number you can call as big as they are, as rich as Elon is. No customer service? Very little. But I emailed them. That wasn't a human. That was an AI. What if your situation requires human attention? Oh, you're going to be waiting for a long time. You're going to be waiting for a long time. You think Elon is rich enough to go to Mars, but not rich enough to make customer service more, uh, 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 I guess, present at his foundation of success, the first one that made him Elon? No, he's not stupid. It's all by design. There's clauses in there that say he can take your money how you, if you feel that you are suspicious, no proof, no nothing, when you click the accept, the mask scammed you legally and had you sign off and you can't do nothing about it. But he's still, he's still active. As far as scamming go, pump and dump, if you didn't know, I spoke about it. If you didn't know what a pump and dump is, back to our mushroom. This mushroom is worthless. Pretend with me, it's worthless. There's a million of it in this, in this house and there's infinity of it. Prices are super cheap, so it's basically worthless. But then I come in as a stock trader or someone just looking to pump and dump, and I ain't talking about your girl. <laughs> Holla. Now I come in hypothetically, I'm a guy who wants to pump. 
I'm the superstar here in the, in the, in the scamming scene, hypothetically. You're like, hmm, this thing is worthless, but you know what? I see some money. I put a bunch of money behind this room. I invest in this room. And then I convince you, idiot, that this room is the future. Uh, what was it? Be connect. This room is amazing. That's why you heard all the dummies while you were clowning me and investing in those. You heard all the dummies talk about, dudes, it's the future. It's going to be amazing. I believe in dudes. It's the meme. Crypto is scary. Bitcoin is bad. We don't know who made it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know who made that one, huh? So you bought a uh, worthless currency listening to people like Elon, thinking that he's smart. He's so smart. He has Tesla. He stole Tesla idea from two guys. He's a businessman. There's a Nikola Tesla and he's a Thomas Edison. But you don't research. You just listen to people. A blind sheep who spent his money and went broke over those. And you couldn't do nothing about it. So pump and dump. I make this sound amazing. Hey, yo, this going to be the next big thing. We're going to the moon. Remember everybody? The moon looks pretty empty. I don't see nobody reach. The only thing I heard about the moon was conspiracy theories. That Neil Armstrong, even Neil Armstrong didn't touch it. Hot Lisa. The moon. But they have nerve to call me stupid. I cupped up and convinced you that this worthless piece of S, which I invested money behind, is going to be worth a lot more and convince everybody to invest. And once the dummies bought in, I pull out, making my initial investment, you know, high, way higher profit. And I pull out, and then you realize, like, man, this ain't going nowhere. But by then, I pulled out the big chunk. You know, and then you, you all realize so. Flat. Stupid. You listen to Elon Musk, now it's down. Now, uh, now you got robbed. Some, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm type of guy, I got robbed a lot of times. Uh, in the streets and by smart people through legal ways like this one. You ever heard a, I don't know if it was a movie or something, but he was like, uh, he's like, I think his, his dad was a thief and he was like, uh, I want to be a thief or I want to join and make money with y'all to steal. Like the criminals. And then the dad was like, you want to steal? Get a law degree. You become a lawyer or something. He was like, basically, the pen is mightier than the sword. Now here's what the pen wrote. I'm trying my best not to become angry because I had to. It's not easy not getting angry at this because when I got robbed, blatow, I took it on the chin. But <laughs> a lot of people don't take it on the chin. You know, and a lot of people like a coffeezilla. Instead of telling you how to not get scammed, he will entertain you and make his money in the process. I mean, I'm not saying he's doing a bad job, bad thing. All I'm saying is it's much easier to tell you how to not get scammed and review if this is a scam or has scam potentiality. So preventing it rather than acting like the, 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 the morality, uh, CEO of morality, of ethics and superior, su superiority, but you're saving nobody. You're just making good content, making good money. So, you know, it is what it is, but How come you didn't speak about Elon Musk?
How come no one spoke about what Elon Musk did and it light like I'm about to speak on it? How come? I was I went nuts on my Instagram on TikTok. I don't even have it no more because of my tiny videos. They were spying. Phone started overheating at the blue after I'm suddenly attacked from my China exposés. Multiple, not one. I did four, I think. Or three. One of them got taken down. I went the next day. If you you guys try YouTube and fail, imagine making a video as heavy as I did, editing it, uploading it, getting hated on, fighting the haters, getting taken down. Most of you gave up before any of half of these stuff. I went, did it again, knowing I can't monetize for the sake of helping you. What did you give me in return? Ignoring hate, disrespect. Right. But I'm going to still do my part. Check this. You're about to view Elon differently. Yeah, he did more than the PayPal scams. That's how they made their fortune. The same way that a rapper makes you feel or try to convince you that he lives a lifestyle that he doesn't. Why does he do that? Does he want uh, attention, validation? Maybe that, but mostly for the business of selling records. Businessmen, some of them, um, and investors alike and all these people, it is part of their business or a pillar of their business, a big pillar, especially if you're in a, in a business of you know, like, no, I'm not saying he's calm. Shout out Grant Cardone. I love the dude. I'm not here to tell you go buy 10X. I just vibe with the stuff, right? Motivation. I say that to say that a lot of you have fell for the facade portrayed in the media. Let me tell you something about the media. Unless you control the narrative and you have a publicist with you spending bands and bands hundreds of thousands if you're as big as Elon, to craft your image, not as the guy who stole Tesla from two up and coming mother effers and kicked them off the project and took it to, huh? not that guy. Not the guy who made millions, not from PayPal fees, stupid dummy. You fell for the other Elon, the facade, a cool nerd who hit the blunt on Joe Rogan, but is also trying to go to space. I'm not here to tell you that Elon Musk is dumb. And again, this is my opinion. It's not the facts. I can't tell you that. But I'll tell you it's my personal opinion. I believe it. Here's why. Remember earlier how we said PayPal finesse people using the clauses in the fact, there was no bank. Well, Elon just woke up out of the blue, and I'm quoting from memory. I don't have my laptop soft. He went one day out of the blue. A smart man, as smart as he is, said that Bitcoin is bad for the energy, bad for the economy, bad for this. It's going to cause floods. And hurricanes, they actually published a paper by the government, or at least uh, supported by the government, it seems. Of all my opinion, I'm coming from memory. That Bitcoin is so bad for the uh, uh, energy, for the uh, uh, ecosystem, that not only does it increase global warming. It's going to cause floods and hurricanes. I kid you not. So Sleepy Joe, the oil that y'all butchered families in their homes for doing airstrikes and got so good at it that you started doing it with planes that are flown with no man on it. And drone strikes. I'm with you because it's my interest to be with you, but brother... Sleepy Joe, you must have been sleepy when you wrote and said that. Because first of all, you published or supported or at least used, benefited 
from fake science. How is nobody calling out fake science? Bitcoin is not causing no floods, dummy. There's enough computers in this world. And look at us, bro. If you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, the meat and potatoes, I'm going to tell you straight up, how about the oil, right? Because didn't Buddy just uh, discover how to fix a car and charge a car using, oh, run a car, a vehicle. <laughs> Pull up in that skirt, skirt. Not like a Tesla, unfortunately. Not by oil, but by water. Oh, what happened to him? He got assassinated. Ah, mysteriously. Mysteriously. Why does everyone who discover stuff like this get popped? Why? But Bitcoin is so bad for the, for the world that it's going to cause floods and hurricanes. Now, what you going to tell me next? The Antichrist is going to come with the Bitcoin. <laughs> Uh huh. Bitcoin is so bad, but you're good. That oil, yeah, did all them stuff that you punishing Julian because he's trying to tell you what we. All he did was publish stuff, by the way. Julian didn't even hack nobody. <laughs> he was the Facebook or Twitter where someone tweeted what y'all did. That's all he did. How you gonna charge a person who's not American with treason? I can't cheat on, the, on my girl if she's not my girl. How am I doing treason on her if she, we weren't together in the first place? He's a foreign journalist, not a T word. But he's getting treated and chased around like a T-word. Meanwhile, you were so concerned about how angry I was and suing competition. And you wouldn't support me. You're so self-obsessed. Mother effer. And you don't support Julian. That's why I don't tell no truth. But I'll tell you this one. Wake him up. Wake who up? Stay asleep. Just tell cut, Sleepy Joe to cut her you next time. All I'm going to say is this. He woke up and started saying the stupid nonsense. That's false, obviously false, because the oil and stuff, when we can run off water, stuff the ancestors knew, right? 4,000 years ago. Stuff they had to keep in. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Nikola Tesla. Oh, Tesla. You trying to flex like you him and bringing him back. Whole time you're doing it to him. You're doing to him what was done to him, to the people. So he built this nice narrative. Had you thinking he's the coolest, smartest nerd in the world? He might be. But don't forget that he is self... He is crafting this image and he's not just... I'm just being cool. They just like me. Nah, bruh. He is so self he was so concerned with being this cool cyber character. At least I'm honest. I do the same. But him? He trying to act like he cool. He don't know why. You crafted this. You got a publicist running. The media hates famous people and rich people. If you don't have somebody actively making you look good and you leave it up to them, there's nothing but scandals because they're in a the business or fear mongering. That's why there's no good news. You ever see good news on the news? He is so concerned about it. AK, hey, you're just you're just generalizing. You're Shut up. Who the F on planet Earth names their child their son? You have a child, you love him, a son? Are you a deadbeat? Cool. Y'all that love y'all children, would you ever name your children this, this nonsense? 
Can you even say this? That's his son's name. He did it for media. Uh, why would you name your son? That's man. I wouldn't even put that name on my on my Counter Strike uh, uh, name on Counter Strike. But you put it in your son's birth certificate. Why though? Why would someone do that? Anyway, son, I hope that's fake news. That boy gonna grow up and change his name or, or he gonna keep it? That might be, a, hey Elon, you might wanna reserve that username on IG for your son. That's what I'd do if I was you. At least help him in that way because for the people that worship you, like you were their father, not me. I respect you. Even now, I respect, even to this day, I respect you. I'm not here trying to make you look bad. A wolf walks amongst the wolves. I'm the king of the jungle. I be acting like Hassan sometimes, huh? Shout out Hassan. Hassan. Me? I got no problems with dude. I look like a snitch to you. I'm trying to help y'all out. The ones that are watching me. I'm not trying to make Elon look bad or a snitch. But I'm not snitching because here's how here's here's what he did when he texted, tweeted that. The tweet had his fans, fanboys, immediately, of course. He made Bitcoin look bad and crashed the whole thing. Meanwhile, it was crashing. He was, so he dumped it. He first made it go down, made it cheap. Let's say this is Bitcoin, down. Everyone dummies sold. Then he comes in behind the scenes. Again, the blockchain don't lie. If I remember correctly, I, I think I seen it on uh, Ordinary Gamers where they showed the blockchain. So this is what he did. He tweeted, Bitcoin is so bad for the world, it's for the economy, all the computers. Are you stupid? Even the electric cars that you make are made from lithium. Lithium powers those batteries. How did they make lithium? Go, go look into it. Tell me what's bad for economy, uh, uh, ec ecosystem. Stupid mother effers, man. So he crashed it, tweeted. Meanwhile, he's tweeting. He's on the other hand, Bobby, buy some more of that Bitcoin. Come on, while it's cheap. While millions of y'all are being stupid. The blockchain don't lie. Men lie, women lie, trans people lie, transgender people, is it? Everybody lie except for, them, for the blockchain. Shout out to Satoshi which is public, unlike that list of a specific plane that was going to a specific island. That list is not public, may never be public, but blockchain is public. He told you sell, he bought while it's cheap, and meanwhile, you were too busy having his nuts. Uh, actually, let me censor. When you're too busy having his uh, uh, male organ inside your, your mouth, or pothole, criticizing me while I was trying to help you, by the way. I was trying to tell you what they don't tell you. I was getting the hate, but crashed it. He stocked up in the millions. But it's so bad for the economy or ecosystem, wasn't it, Elon? He pumped and dumped to the tune of millions. So remember what I said earlier, SEC don't recognize cryptocurrency. Ah, it's not a real security. Meaning, in the eyes of the law, Bitcoin's not a security. 
if he did the same thing he did with stocks, he would have went to prison and had the FBI running all through the Tesla buildings, arrested for fraud to the tune of hundreds of millions. But because they don't regulate Doge, actually it was Doge, I'm sorry. But he still did the same with Bitcoin. But Doge is so worthless that the only value it has is for quick pump and dumps. I am not encouraging dishonest behavior, YouTube. It's only for educational and entertainment purposes. I'm not gonna say education. This is all my opinions, personally. They don't even represent the channel, they represent me. I could be wrong. This message is targeted towards grown men, not no minors who are investing or interested into it. I am not advertising, unlike most people on YouTube who don't care about the stuff too much. They just come in for the money. I got this, I believe in the ideology. You see me selling you a course? I'm gonna tell you guys how to make money and get rich, but before we do that, I want you to hit your email. I don't have a course to sell you. I really believe what I'm saying. I really risk my life for it. Chill out, AK. You're to shut the f up. My auntie got assassinated by her own government. I repeat it. I'm gonna repeat it again and again. I tell them they're so busy about how I say it. They're busy about my hairline, or are they too in competition to support the message? Having Elon's male member inside of your pothole, not even a mouth. Have fun chasing shortcuts and getting scammed and criticizing me. When I tell you, look into the ideology. It's not, it's not important. Okay. Enjoy the central bank digital currencies. You're going to live in a world where if you have the wrong views, if you disagree with what they want you to, uh, to agree with, right? You're not only going to, it's not going to be so, you can't come into my store. You're not vaccinated. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be like all the money's digital, centralized, mother effer. If you disagree, your money's gone. Nowadays, when cash is still flowing, shout out to cash. I don't even like cash. When this is around, if you disagree, shut the back. I can at least eat today and have, have my opinions that I don't get ex allowed to even express due to censorship. Ah, growing censorship. My, my opinions ain't that inflammatory, but I'm saying we're moving in a dangerous direction. You keep ignoring me when I'm trying to help you, and you're going to pay the price and remember what I told you. Listen to this. All the money's going to be digital. There will be no cash. They incentivize people to do it. Now, I hate the central bank digital currency with a passion. As much as I hate Dogecoin, the worthless pump and dump. If you're if you buy Dogecoin, do 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 me a favor, go and a brotherly smack on the face, lovingly, not to hurt. My intention is not to hurt. Hypothetically, in a video game, smack yourself for me. If your brother do it, hypothetically, in a video game, smack him for me. Stand up for once. Be a man. I can't get a girlfriend. I hate you. I can't hate her. You know why you can't get a girlfriend? She don't respect you. Because you're not a real man. I went to the gym. You got muscles, but you can't stand up for what's right or wrong. And if, <laughs> yeah, that's why. You're a coward. It's not about having muscles. If you can't, what's the, what's the point of the muscles? We live in a world where they introduced the bill and passed it that allowed the robot to pew, pew, lethal force on you in San Francisco. Did you fight it? 
Or did you fight in my comments about how I look, my hairline, mother effer? No wonder you can't get a girlfriend because you're a coward. How are you going to protect her? Ideologically, you can't even, you just go with the flow and bend over and uh, bend, yeah, bend over and take it. It ain't going to be Shrek in a meme no more. It's going to be Charles Schwab. I'm risking my life telling you this stuff. But no, forget me. I'm just a guy, a stupid guy, right? Go listen to the media. Let them keep telling you that decentralization that they can't control. It's so bad, so harmful. And not only harmful because, oh, I'm gonna end on the, they said, but the hate don't work. They start telling lies. And it's so sad that we live in a world where they blatantly pass fake science. So your research found that Bitcoin is causing computers and global warming. Didn't you guys say that it don't exist because your friends in the oil industry? Ah, the lobbyists. So in Canada, they legalized Coke and uh, 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 Coca-Cola. Okay, yeah. And uh, the rocks stands with a C, ends with a rack. You know, hair on, dog food. It's legal in BC. They gave companies the license to sell, distribute, possess, and, and so it's illegal when the man do it, but not, ah. And the oil companies and the massacres that get swept under rugs, that's bad. And it doesn't harm the economy or ecosystem. But Bitcoin, this decentralized currency that weighs as much as, as the whole Bitcoin in the world, the amount of megabytes and stuff, they say that if you were to physically put it in one place, it would weigh approximately the size of an apple. Like if you collect that, or something small. Computers and gaming computers existed for years. Running, like my computer goes when I edit these videos. I'm harming the ecosystem, guys. Bitcoin is so bad from the modern stuff. It's gonna cause floods and hurricanes. You know, there's conspiracy theories running around that it's harp or whatever. I don't know what it is, but they say you guys play with the weather. I didn't say that. I just tell you what's going around on the internet. It's a theory, it's not a fact. I don't even believe in it. I don't know enough about it. But just to leave you on this, Dubai, when they play with the weather, they it, it got tension politically because you can make it rain here and butterfly effect trickle down into a tornado or flood somewhere else. But that's not bad. That's cool and classified for security. Hmm. But Bitcoin is so bad, it's going to cause floods and hurricanes. Oh. I'm not telling you pick a side or nothing. I'm, I'm just putting facts out there. And you use this if it's still working. Hit the like button. Smash the effing subscribe button. Or else it is halal to smash your girlfriend if you had a girlfriend. P-U-S-S-Y. Peace out, man. Check the last video. Check the next video. Or I'm going to check something else. Not to talk. Man. Think about it, though. Don't you ever buy doge. The rest of the video, not financial advice. This part? Only this part. I'm going to tell you what part and start to end. Start. Never buy Dogecoin. And enjoy.